Hey guys, Captain Keith here from Clearwater. Captain Nick Pavlakis from Marine Max in St. Pete, and today Keith and I are gonna be talking about planning that really long trip. Not just a day or two, we're talking a couple weeks or even a couple months where you're living on the boat. So what are some pointers that you got for to make sure that you have a good experience and, and have some fun? So probably first and foremost, um, obviously the safety gear, which we'll talk about here in a little bit, but have a spares kit. You can go to your local Marine Max store, and if you tell them, you know, what boats you've got, what engines you've got, generator, all that kind of stuff, uh, they're going to be able to go through and pull filters or strainers, impellers, and just, just items that you may need during the trip. Um, if you've got the parts and you're in the Bahamas or in the Caribbean somewhere or in the Keys and something happens, you don't have to wait for a couple of days or a week or a month for parts to show up. If you've got the parts with you, I guarantee you, you're going to be able to find somebody on the dock in that marina or something that's going to have the ability, if you don't, but to get into the bilge and go and fix whatever's going on. Yeah, and when it's when it comes to these long trips, pe preparation really is key because sometimes you might be a little bit of a plumber, a little bit of a mechanic, a little bit of an electrician. It sounds intimidating, but it's really not, especially on these newer boots. And there's so many resources out there nowadays. Like Keith, you talked about spare parts. I know on the Aquilas, there's an Excel, an Excel spreadsheet for every single model where you have part numbers, everything like that. A big question we get a lot of the times is, hey, what are some common things that I'm gonna need to keep an eye on? Well, it's the simple stuff. Your AC strainers, um, your fuel pumps, all that little stuff. Just, those are the common things on any boat that you're gonna wanna carry spares of. And of course, don't overlook the small stuff too. For instance, right here, hose clamps. You can never have enough of those. You never know when you're gonna have a little leak in a line somewhere and you can get these in all different shapes and sizes and they could, more often than not, fix a problem that seems like a big problem, but it just takes a uh, flathead screwdriver and you're back good to go. And of course, with the preparation, there are no convenience stores at sea, so maybe a little extra marine grade toilet paper, all the essentials. And another thing that I think is a great resource, there's a lot of owner groups out there too, whether it's for on a great loop, whether it's of a certain brand of yacht, like we're on an Aquila 44 right now, the Aquila owners group is awesome and that's completely done by the owners. It just gives you good resources to kind of bounce ideas off of each other because when you're out there, sometimes you're relying on others that have been in that same exact situation. And that's why I think a buddy boat is not a bad idea too. A lot of times like with Marine Max and like the rendezvous, a lot of times the biggest Plus of that is the first time you're making that trip down to the Keys or something, you're not going alone, you're going with everybody else. And hey, that goes on your own too. If you're gonna go to the Bahamas, you're gonna go down to the, anywhere in the Caribbean, tag along with another boat, takes takes that edge off a little bit, you know? So you're, you're talking about like the owner's groups, but don't overlook what Marine Max offers with the getaways programs. That's what it's there for. So you may have an Aquila, you may have a Boston Whaler, you may have a, a Sea Ray, you know, whatever the boat is, but part of the Marine Max family. And that's the deal with that. I mean, you're traveling along, somebody's got an idea for this or that, or there's more experience to be a person with somebody new. And that's how you learn. And that's what, you know, we offer as a company. The other thing too, is if you're going, doing a long trip and you're, you got to look at the weather, you're going to become a meteorologist when you become a boater. Um, so one thing I want you to notice, so like life jackets, right? These are near shore where it's a type three, where your chances of being pulled out of the water are gonna be rapid. If you're offshore, you're gonna to wanna to take the time and invest in a good type one PFD. We've talked about this before. This will 100% float an unconscious person face up. It's got reflective tape on it. And then just things you can do. Add little glow sticks to these. You know, you get two of them for a buck. There's a little tester on here. I've got a strobe light. So if I do end up in the drink in the middle of the night, I can pull this thing, makes it easy for somebody to find you. Have an EPIRB on your boat. This just happens to be a personal 
EPIRB, like a personal locator beacon. This is a spot messenger. I'm not endorsing anybody. Garmin makes one. I think it's Atlas Tracks or InReach. There's a bunch of different companies that do that. And then also, you want to have like a little ditch bag with all kind of this stuff in it. But have handheld VHF radios. This will float. It's, you know, it's going to work. So if you need to talk to the Coast Guard or another boat, when you are coming to rescue you because your epurb has gone off, you're going to be able to, to do that. So just a quick little handheld, little small little things you can put together, things you can do to, to put some bling on your life jackets. And, uh, you know, for a couple bucks, it might just save your life if, you know, it really gets bad. So you just got to think about hopefully, you know, you're, you're not, that's not going to happen, but you got to be ready in case it does. You can really never be too prepared. At the end of the day, have fun, make yep. the memories. It's boating, okay? Chances are you're gonna bust a hose clamp or something. Don't let it ruin your day. That's right. But uh, just keep on carrying on and uh, make the memories while you can, right? Roll with the punches. Yeah. See you guys out on the water. See y'all.